I'm gonna take you through a typical lower body warm up that I would use before a squat or deadlift session. So feel free to save this video as a reference for your next leg day. Right off the bat, if you're one of those people who insists on warming up for no less than 30 minutes, or conversely one of those folks who gets right underneath the bar first thing into the gym, that's cool, keep doing your thing, we can debate it later. This is just what's worked best for me and my lifters. I'm gonna give you five movements in the order I did them today, although these can and do change depending on the individual and the situation. This is just an example. By the way, this whole thing took me less than five minutes to complete, even with having to film all of it, so I don't wanna hear any complaints about it being too extensive, okay? I started with the shin box get up. This is a great general exercise for opening up a full range of hip rotation on both sides and an equally useful self-assessment tool to see where you might be restricted and might require some more attention. I was feeling good today, so I went directly into a single leg RDL hip airplane combo. Although you can definitely just do this as two different exercises. I preach the benefits of single leg work for powerlifters all the time, and your warm up is a fast and easy way to start including some of it. I find this one not only works great as a warm up for the very muscles we're gonna be loading heavily later, taking them through full ranges of motion through different planes, but is also helpful in improving the stability of the hip joint, which I believe pays off hugely in the long run. Next up, I hit a set of lateral squats. I have a whole video about these that I posted recently, so make sure you check that one out if you want more detail. But suffice it to say that this one allows me to access both hips evenly and even, I believe, helps prevent hip shifting. Next, I did a set of Copenhagen side planks. Various other types of static core work would go well here, but I find that including something like this is helpful for cueing and practicing bracing before the big heavy compound lifts. And lastly, I hit some walking lunges. When I do these, personally, I'm focusing on driving my knee as far forward over my toes as I possibly can. It's been the single biggest difference maker in reducing knee pain that I've ever found. And from there, I got right underneath the bar and started squatting and deadlifting. I hope you found this helpful. If you have questions or you want to see the upper body version, be sure to let me know in the comments. See you next time.